good to meet you, sir. I like to keep this dress formal. Yes, sir. Now tell me, Connor, what is your relation to Emily Ball? Uh, she's my sister. By blood? Yes. Fascinating. How long have you known her? My whole life. Now, Connor, do you have any reason to look up to her? Well, a few years ago, she used to be taller than me. But that's kind of, things change, you know? Growth hormones. Okay, continue. <laughs> Sorry. Um, now, Connor, what would be a favorite <laughs> favorite memory you have of her? Um, we went to Epcot and we had a lot of fun there. And uh, tell me, uh, where is Epcot? At Disney. Uh, where is Florida. Disney? Oh, uh, one of the locations in Florida, which is where we went. How long ago? A couple of weeks. And. Uh, uh, then in the car ride, we uh, were just watching some movies, having a good time. Emily Ball enjoys spending her free time talking and reading books to her younger brother, Connor Ball. Emily Ball is a straight-A student and enjoys the little things in class, Hello, like raising her hand and answering you a simple are. question. Nice to, nice to meet you. The question on everybody's mind is, how do you know Emily Ball? I go to school with her. Do you have any extracurricular activities with her? I did volleyball with her. And how was that? That was great. Any awesome memories you may have? She loved our cheers when we cheered for her. Can you give us an example of one of these cheers? M C S. That she is something. It. That is something. It really shows her um, characteristics of her heart. Yes. Now, thank you, Mr. Crenshaw, for coming in today. Uh, question on everybody's mind. How do you know Emily Ball? Well, Emily is a student here, so I've taught her in a couple different classes, and then I've also coached her with softball, mm -hmm. and um, I'm her athletic director, and she plays a lot of sports. So. so you have a lot of contact with her? Yeah, I'd say so. I would. Wow. Uh, do you have any really cool memories or things that you witness that she does? Uh, well, something that comes to mind is last year when I coached her in softball, um, she was one of the team's top hitters, mm -hmm. and so I put her in the number three spot, and I remember telling her, I don't, I don't really, I don't know why I did it, but I was like, hey, you're hitting in the same spot as Mickey, M Miguel Cabrera is. Wait, Detroit Tigers Of the player? Detroit Tigers, yeah. So just trying to encourage her, say like, hey, you're one of our top hitters, mm -hmm. I'm putting you in the same spot that Miguel Cabrera is saying, you have a lot of responsibility. And she really enjoyed that, she really took that, and, and you can tell that affected the rest of her day. Look at those hits. Pop, pop, pop. Whoop back, whoop back. Look at those arm muscles. Oh, wow, look at that serve. So, uh, how do you feel about Emily Ball? I don't. Okay. How long have you been friends? I don't. Three years? That's interesting. Hey, how many sports have you played? Oh, volleyball? What else? <laughs> Basketball? That's cool. I'm Emily Ball, and I'm running for president. And you are? I'm Keenan Smith. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Now, have you ever heard of the name Emily Ball? Yes, I have. Care to explain when you first heard this name? Uh, last year at school. Last year? Yeah. Do you attend the same school as her? Yes, I do. What school would that be? McComb Christian. How long have you been attending there? Uh, about two years. Two years? Um, would you say Emily Ball lightens the mood at Macomb? Definitely. Definitely? Definitely. That, wow. Tell me, Keenan, what is one great memory you have of Mrs. Ball? One great memory. Um, we had the Spirit Week mm -hmm. 
and the junior class they did mm -hmm. their song of the Kuna Matata. Right. And she sang, and that voice just lightened my mood and changed my whole life. I, I agree with you. Her voice is the angel of velocity. It is beautiful. It really is. What happened, kind of? I hit my head in the gym on the floor <laughs> so, somehow because Logan, Logan and me, well, I was talking to um, one of my other friends, Dane, mm -hmm. in the gym when it was like sort of the end. Then I walked and I bumped into Logan, and he thought it was on purpose. Uh -huh. So he grabbed me, swung me around, and I hit my head on the floor. So that gave me this. Right. And that didn't feel good. But I guess it's better now. I don't feel it as much. That's good. <laughs> Do you find comfort in knowing that Emily Ball attends this school, and if you were in serious pain, she could help you? Probably, yeah. That's good. Well, thank you for coming today. Emily Ball, okay. tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I go to Macomb Christian. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a junior in high school. I'm very stressed out about standardized tests test things and uh, um, uh, I, I, um, I, I'm afraid uh, of failure. Hmm. Would you say that that fear pushes you to do greatness, great things? It, it pushes me to spread myself thin because hmm. I always want to honor my parents. <laughs> But there's times that I just, I just can't do it. <laughs> now what sports do you currently play or have played this past year? Uh, this past year, um, sophomore year, I've played um, all three sports, volleyball, basketball, and softball. But this year, my junior year, I've only played volleyball and basketball because my schedule has not allowed me to play softball. I've had a lot of busyness and church and things and um, we thought that we were going to have my brother play junior high baseball or varsity or mm -hmm. some kind of baseball thing but that kind of fell through and we're currently very very stressed out because we're trying to get a new house. Mm. Now what are your dreams for the future? My dreams for the future, well I want to go to college mm -hmm. That's I mean, big picture stuff, not Oh, big steps. picture. Um, get a good job. Mm -hmm. Make In money. In what field? Um, a, a I was thinking about, well, I ha have my dream of being a gospel musician, but mm -hmm. I don't think that that's going to happen. However, I'd want to have a career to fall back on mm -hmm. in case that that doesn't work out. Um, in, ca in that case, it would be probably something in maybe the nursing field. Mm -hmm. So... That heard that makes a decent amount of money. So. Yes. And uh, I heard rumors uh, about the school that you plan on running for president. In 2036, if I ever, if I ever um, choose to pursue law and politics and mm -hmm. things, then I do plan on becoming president, or at least running for it, in mm -hmm. 2036, because that will be the earliest time that I will be able to run for president, because I'd be like 37 and you have to be 35. So. What should... party would you uh, go for? Um, if I was to be in a major party, I would be in the Republican Party, because that's a little closer to my values, but they, they don't really, like both parties, they have so much sketchiness, it's really mm -hmm. shady. So I would run independently. So that's that's a big challenge. I don't think anybody has accomplished that. But do you believe you can? You never know. That is true. You never know. Well, thank you for coming here today, and uh, have a wonderful rest of the day. You too. Idiot, go. Okay. We chose to film Emily Ball because she is a spectacular human being, and she is. A tremendous amount of skill and talent.
and she will be running as president in the next couple of years. So we want to document her and her young age. Yeah. I have been alive for more than 17 years, and I can tell you, I have never, ever met any girl as fantastic as Emily Ball. You see, she will become president. I don't know if president of the United States, but she will be president of something. She has that uh, certain leadership personality that you see in so many great leaders. Now, you ask me why we chose her, and I ask you, who else? 